Hey everybody, what's up from Pokemon Classics, reminding you all that the classics never go out of style. We're over at Card Party in Orlando, and this is Card Party 2.0, and I thought I'd give you the rundown, the walkthrough of the entire event. So, not a lot of fancy bells or whistles or thrills in this video, but I think it'll be of interest, and there's a lot to do here. And the venue, it's pretty amazing. So, uh, let's check it out. Stay tuned. So originally, I considered vending at Card Party, but there's so much to do at this event that I really wanted to experience it all. For this trip, I didn't want to have any obligation, so I'm just man on the street with camera, uh, trying to enjoy all the festivities, but also help out in any way that I'm able to. Classics. How we doing? Classics. All right. What's going on? It's, it's true. Here. Speaking of which, which card is the best classic card that you can show me today? We need we need something vintage. Like, what is the best vintage card that you have to offer? Oh, right here. Dead to me. Dead to me. Okay, that's that's too vintage. This is the first Charizard ever. 96 Bandai card S. True rookies. Get it right. Yeah. Too vintage. That's a little too vintage. We got a classic trio. That's all I got. Hey, the PSA one. The one. The one. Probably the Mew. Okay. Southern Island's Mew. It's a pretty card. Much better. For sure. Beautiful promo. It's got a little char you can get in the background. Yeah. And that's the uh, Pidgeot wing in that one yes, too, right? Yeah, it's just a little half wing. Yeah. This is the rare and elusive like test run Chansey from before Pokemon had been established as a game. And uh, in this 25th anniversary set from Japan, uh, Creatures International produced these history cards and distributed them to some of the illustrators out there. And this is the first one in the set. Each one is themed around a different year. This one is 1995, before the copyright production of Pokemon even starts. This is the only copy I've ever personally seen or held in person, and it is absolutely beautiful. So thank you for letting me sample that. Yeah, as you guys can see, the people here are wonderful. That's one of the greatest things about the Pokemon community is everybody is so friendly, so welcoming, so inviting. And there's a diversity of like interests and passions in this hobby. And so there's always something new to explore. And that's one of the things that I appreciate the most. They have the best shirts. You can see those shirts back there. As you can see, very busy table. There were so many vendors at Card Party that it was inevitable that we'd come across some rare items, and some of the best ones were found at the Heritage Auctions booth. And uh, I've showcased the Protostoys on the channel before in one of the Pokemon news videos, but this is the entire like sheet, the uncut sheet that has, what is it, five of them? You guys gotta see this. Pretty crazy, but definitely some eye candy out here for people to look at in the display case. There's even a first edition base set booster box. Got a jungle one down there. One of my personal favorites, Legendary Collection. Speaking of Legendary Collection, I also found a sealed case of six Legendary Collection booster boxes. And that's a really hefty price tag, but I've never seen anything like this before. So just a testament to some of the awesome finds you can have out in the wild at these large conventions. Always a great time searching for Pokemon. The East Expo Hall. Now, if two Expo Halls wasn't enough for you to find uh, what you're looking for in terms of purchasing and merchandise, there's a whole nother one. This one's not quite as big. Look at this rug. That is sweet. When you see cards flying, you know you've made it to the trick shot area. That or a cool trainer Ryan is around and hasn't gotten the pulls that he wanted. One of the two for sure. Clean up on aisle two. Energy cards everywhere. But you know what, it makes perfect sense to use energy cards because that's, that's gotta take up a lot of energy. Some of the kids though could probably use uh, the energy burn from that. Fun fact for you all, energy burn, Charizard's Pokemon power in base set. This is probably my biggest praise of Card Party, but it was very family-oriented and geared for kids, which I think is great. And even if you didn't have a bunch of money to spend, there was always something to do to stay engaged and stay active throughout the weekend. All right, if you're feeling a little bit bulky and need to bulk up, this is the place to go. 
Because this is basically take one, leave one, free penny situation, but with cards. This is kind of cool, back over here in the corner, they have an arcade with some games. So if you need to run off some of that en energy with some basketball, or maybe play off some of that energy with some classic arcade games, they've got some of that. And as you guys know, the classics, they never go out of style, whether it's cards or video games. So one of my goals and one of the cool side quests out here at Card Party is the card hunt. There's a variety of different Card Party themed cards that you can find scattered around the event. Some you have to earn, some you have to ask a creator for, and uh, we're on a quest to assemble all of the Infinity Stones. That's 11 total cards in the set, and my hope is to have them all framed up when all is said and done as kind of a memento to remember the event. Uh, but we're gonna take you through, see if we can find some of those cards here together. Now, I actually did assemble all 11 cards, including this holographic one for participating in the world record attempt for the most people contributing to a binder collection. This was a huge moment, and the energy and excitement were off the charts. I purchased these jersey display cases off Amazon where I organized all of my cards, the binder, the various gear and merchandise that I assembled from Card Party for future display. I really like commemorating things like this, and this is gonna go perfectly on my wall. So one of the things that made this card party extra special is I actually brought a guest with me. This is my mom. Hi. We actually came down here to celebrate her 60th birthday. We have relatives in Orlando and we'll be staying down for a few days visiting them. And uh, along the way, I kind of forced her into volunteering here at Card Party. So we've had her stationed out, out in the arts and crafts. Tell me about what it's been like so far. Oh, well, it's been really interesting. We've had a lot of people come and go through there. I've met a lot of people from a lot of different places. And the kids seem to have a good time coloring the little Pokemon creatures and sometimes even creating creatures of their own. And so it's been real fun. But uh, she did a few Pokemon drawings of her own. And if that's not an indication that she doesn't know much about Pokemon, uh, I don't know what is. So we're going to let you get an inside look at those because um, Monstrosity isn't really the right word for it, but it might be close. This guy here. <laughs> All right, so what Pokemon is that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Make a guess. Uh, it's some kind of dinosaur thing. I don't know, Tyranitar? I don't know. <laughs> Tyranitar is actually a Pokemon. That's not a Tyranitar. <laughs> okay. That's a Kangaskhan. But uh, appropriate, appropriate there, number one mom. <laughs> be good to your moms, everybody. It gets better. Let's go to the next one. Uh, once again, got very creative with the colors. Almost looks like there's a multicolored like tie-dye effect happening here. It's my, my hippie Pokemon. This is like Easter egg coloring gone wrong is what that <laughs> looks like. <laughs> All right, um, and there's one more. And this one you actually did a pretty good job with. A little coaching. Yeah. So we, we always get better with practice. And look at this. That one's acceptable, right, everybody? What Pokemon is that? Um, a coughing. That is coughing. That one I know. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So she's learning. I, I hope it got a little bit better as time went on. That one's really good. Well, maybe at next um, card party, I'll even do a better job. <laughs> Stay posted. We'll see. Anyway, guys, as you could tell from this video, I had an absolute blast at card party, and I think my mom had a great time too. A special thank you goes out to Pat Flynn and to his whole team for graciously hosting this event and being so generous in the process. I think these are the types of events that grow our community closer together, and I'm really all about that. So anyway, it looks like next year there's going to be two different card party events. 
one in Tampa Bay, Florida over the summer, and then a second one in the fall that'll be in the Pacific Northwest. So be on the lookout for those. And I personally hope to see some of you at the next card party. Anyway, guys, that's going to end it for this one. I'm Pokemon Classics reminding you all that the classics never go out of style. We'll see you all with the next video. Till then, stay well, everybody. Have fun and enjoy collecting. That's what we're all here for. Bye, everybody.